sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill It's Kaki. It has been 49 weeks today since I had gastric bypass the day before Thanksgiving last year, 2022. It is hard to believe it's almost been a year. I'm coming up on that 52 weeks. It's just, it's amazing the changes that have taken place in the past year. I am just so thankful. So this week was a good week for me socially and health-wise. I am down 0.4 pounds of a small, a small loss this week, but I feel great. At this point in the game, I'm, I'm always tickled with any loss. That puts me down 122.6 pounds total. I am really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, that one year mark, getting measurements, and I've been measuring all along, but getting those one year measurements and just seeing where I'm at. So this past week on Friday, I went to a play with my friends that I work with. We went and had tapas beforehand just had a great evening. It's wonderful when you work with people that you actually enjoy spending time with. So had no problems at all. As I said last week, I think tapas is made for people who've had weight loss surgery because there's small portions. You can get two or three things and try different things. I had uh, a meatball the meatball dish, and then I had octopus. Octopus was a little bit overcooked. I love it when it's um, still really tender, but, you know, octopus is something that's not for everyone, but it, it was okay. But the main thing was just spending time with friends. Then on Sunday, I had dinner with a couple that I'm good friends with, and then a couple friend of theirs who came over for, to Nashville from London. It was a, a great dinner as well. I didn't make a picture of my meal, but I ordered uh, a, it's a half of a smoked chicken. That, so it was like one breast, one thigh, one leg, one wing. Uh, ate a little bit that night, had some collard greens with it. When I got home, I pulled the meat off the bone and I had three more meals off of it. So it was a lot of food. This this past week on Friday or Saturday, if you haven't seen it, check out a video that I put up discussing uh, increasing food capacity as the healing process and time goes on after weight loss surgery. I had somebody comment on a What I Eat in a Day video about how much I was eating. So I just wanted to make a video to kind of talk about perception of eating after weight loss and how that changes, that that's a good thing, and the science behind it. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. We did have a lot of little trick-or-treaters last night. I'd love to hear how everybody handled having candy in their house if you did do trick-or-treating. I dump if I eat if I eat sugar like that. So for me, it's not even tempting. I know what I can do and what I can't do, and it's not worth being sick over. So the candy that's left over, I'm putting it in my in my husband's office so that he can have it to enjoy, and it's not right in front of me, but I don't think it's a problem because I just, it. I know once you've had a couple of dumping episodes, the misery... <laughs> It's not worth any any temptation. So, I, but I'd love to hear how everybody else, else dealt with it. So, this past week was very busy. This coming week is going to be rather quiet, and I am ready for it. I'm ready to relax. Next week, the podcast that I was asked to be a part of in Berry Aftercare is coming out. So look below in the show notes and I'll put a link to that podcast. I'm not sure what day of the week it will be released, but if you don't listen to the podcast already, check it out. It is a great podcast. It's done by a bariatric psychologist and she covers a lot 
of issues related to bariatric patients and weight loss surgery. So I hope everybody has a great week and I would love to hear where you're at in the process, any struggles that you're having, any issues, anything you'd like to hear me address. Have a great week, guys, and we'll see you next Wednesday, if not before. Bye.